Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to give you all a, a quick tutorial about how to import into Racetab from a delimited file. Now one of the questions that I get all the time is, hey Jason, can you send me an example of how, uh, you know, the standard format to import into Racetab? And the answer is I can't, you know. Um, one of the great things about Racetab is flexibility and we've built Racetab to be extremely flexible in what you can import. Um, one of its greatest strengths, frankly, but maybe for some uh, a weakness because there's, because it's not specific. But let me give you one example uh, that you may not realize that makes it a really nicely formatted, easily to use from a spreadsheet. So I just have a normal spreadsheet open here in Microsoft Excel. And what I'm going to show you is something kind of cool. What you can do is put the team up here at the top. Then you can put the event here in the second column. Um, go 1600 meter run. Um, boys. 1600 meter run um, has to be descriptive enough to match the event in the actual in the actual race tab file, and then we're going to put the the uh, the person's name here and their seat time over here. So let's say 4:23. <clears throat> next line, we're going to put uh, the next person. Now notice that I'm not having to retype the event name and not having to type retype the school name. You can just have it once and it will remember. So the next time when the event changes then, then I can put in the next event. And let's say the event changes again, 800 meter run. Um, and then we'll go to boys 100 meters meter dash and let me make up some other name because I can't remember back in my high school days anymore now Excel's being uh, difficult on me and changing the uh, the, the uh, so you have to kind of tweak your Excel let me uh, let me burn this 100 meters you have to tweak your Excel so it actually accepts times over here um, just but uh, so let me delete that. But anyway, you get the point. You don't have to retype everything over and over again. Um, you can just type it once. So again, if I put more 800, 800 people here, so let me just say um, how about that? All right. So now what I'm going to do is save this. Go to File, Save As, and um, you want to save that. So you can save this as a comma delimited. Um, as, which is one of the options here is um, comma delimited the CSV. I actually prefer this tab delimited, so I'm going to save it as tab delimited and throw this on my desktop. So I can say like Sebring entries. All right, I saved that. I'm going to close it out, and then I'm going to open up Race Tab. I'm going to do this real quick. I'm going to create a new meet. Just do the default high school meet whatever you want to call the meet. It's going to create that new meet for me in race tab. And um, I'm going to go over here to the events tab and click import um, from delimited file. Tell it to import entries. I'm going to choose that file from my desktop. Here's the Sebring entries. You see it pulls it in. I'm going to make sure all my columns are matching up team, event, full name, and seed. And I'm going to click OK. See, it imported it. And now, if I go to like the 3200, oh, here's the, where's the boys 3200. Got Bubba in there. Where's the boys 16? Got my two entries in there. So um, it's very simple. And you can see how you can create a really easy to read, friendly spreadsheet that you can import easily. And and you know you could send that out. You can make the the template. And, uh, and send it out to uh, to all your teams and they can enter that way. Of course, we want you to use our mouse split online registration system. Uh, we prefer that and think it's easier, but um, you know, you could, th in theory, email that out to everybody, get those back, and then add those files um, to, your, uh, to your delimited file import. All right.